Hey guys, Ryan here from Rode, and in this video, I'll be taking you through the feature set of the Rode AI1 audio interface, our very first audio interface that ships with the complete studio kit, including the Rode NT1 microphone, the SMR shock mount, and also a 20-foot XLR lid. But when you register the kit online, it also comes with Ableton Live Lite software so that as soon as you open the box at home and register it, you can start recording in your own home studio. To help out with this demonstration, I've got local Sydney artist Michael David with me today. And he's gonna actually show us how, in a home studio, he uses the AI1 in the complete studio kit to record an original track. Now the AI1 audio interface, unlike many other audio interfaces in its price range, actually has discrete circuitry for both the preamp and the headphone amp. In the design stage of the AI1, we wanted to make sure that we had a really clean audio input and a really nice headphone amp for mixing since most of the time that you're recording at home, you only need a single microphone input or a single instrument input and then a lot of the work that you do is actually mixing in the box. Now, when you do want to unplug your headphones and mix at home with your speakers, the good news is that we actually have balanced quarter inch outputs so that you can actually run long cable runs without introducing any noise. Back to the front of the interface, and on the preamp side, you can see that we actually have a Neutrik combo jack, enabling you to plug in either an XLR input from a microphone like the NT1, or you can actually directly in the middle of that combo jack, plug in an instrument. Now for the demonstration today, Michael will actually be playing us one of his original tracks that uses an acoustic guitar, vocals, and also a bass guitar. Now, while most of those sound sources will be recorded with the NT1, which is an incredibly flexible microphone to use in the studio, we will definitely be using the instrument input to record the bass guitar signal. So the first control that you can see on the front there is actually the preamp volume control. Now, moving the preamp volume control to the right turns it up. If you press the control in, it actually engages phantom power. Now, the nice thing about this interface is that it's completely USB bus powered, meaning that you don't need a separate power supply and you can still get 48 volts of phantom power from the XLR input. Now, when you press in the control and phantom power is engaged, a red light will light up underneath the P48 symbol to let you know that you have phantom power available. To the left of that, you've actually got the signal LED, which will light up green to let you know when you've got a good input signal while setting your levels. It'll light up amber to let you know when you're starting to approach the maximum input of the preamp. And it'll light up red when you're actually overloading the preamp to let you know that you need to turn it down a little bit to get the optimal signal level. Now, if we switch over to the other control on the right-hand side of the interface, this is actually your headphone output and your speaker output volume control. It controls both of those, and I'll explain in a moment how that works. But first, another really cool feature, if you press that knob in, what it actually does is it enables direct zero latency monitoring. As soon as you press that button, the signal from the preamp is actually routed straight to the headphone output so that when you're singing along to a track, you can actually hear your vocal back without any latency at all. In love and happy were we, happy as could be. Once upon a time, I was sad and lonely, never thought that it could happen to me. Now having zero latency monitoring is really handy because depending on the computer that you're using and the software that you're using, sometimes the actual signal coming from the computer is delayed by a little bit and it makes it very hard to sing or play along to the track. So by engaging that direct monitoring, you never have that issue with the AI1 audio interface. Now once you've finished tracking, press the button again and that'll turn off the zero latency monitoring and mute the signal coming in from your microphone or instrument and then the discrete headphone amp circuitry means that you can hear all of the detail in your mix with an incredible headphone output. If you want to actually listen back to the signal from your speakers, you simply unplug the headphone input on the front of the interface and immediately the outputs for the speakers are engaged and that volume control then actually controls the volume of the loudspeaker outputs. 
Now turning the interface back around, you can see that the USB connection on the AI1 interface is USB-C, making it compatible with all future devices. But the cable that ships in the box is actually a USB-C to USB-A cable, making it compatible with current devices. Now the AI1 interface is USB class compliant, meaning that it'll work without the need to install any drivers so that the computer can see the interface. Now, since we've got a single channel high quality input on the AI1, it's enabled us to keep the body of the AI1 nice and compact. The material is actually cast aluminium, meaning that it's incredibly durable and sits really nice and solid on the desk while you're tracking so that when you've got cables plugged in, it won't move anywhere at all. And it also means that it's going to last as long as your incredible Rode microphone. So there you have it guys, the AI1 audio interface is not only incredibly simple to set up and use, but it's also an incredibly high quality input and output for any home or mobile studio application. Once upon a time, we were happy in love. In love and happy were we, happy as could be. Once upon a time, I was sad and lonely. Never thought that it could happen to me. Sad and gray, smiles drifting away. Lonely lovers sing the songs of yesterday Down along the road and so the story goes Footprints in the sand is all you have to show